People love exposing their entitled bosses and they like sharing screenshots of their text message exchanges and I am here for it. Don't you love when someone sends you a screenshot because you're like, it's like I was in the conversation. Oh wow, well you need a new screen. Also, shouldn't I be getting 120? I started at 7.30 and ended at 2.30 or 3.30. I don't completely remember, but eight times 15 is 120. And even if it wasn't eight hours, I should still be getting 105 for seven hours of work. You ju- oh! You just piss me off more. You can go F yourself. If you want any cash, I didn't mean you better take me to court. Nobody ever threatens me. I didn't threaten you, Frank. I just asked a question. F off. Well, maybe you should just like F off. Like as in like take your stuff, pack up your, your lunch and be on your way. Do you really want to work for Frank? Frank sounds like he sucks. Frank sounds like he's got some anger stuff. He's got to work out. That's going to be a no for me, Frank. Especially for like $105. Nah. Hi, I found out that I'm moving to blank this week and was wondering if there's any way I'd be able to get paid for that shift. The one shift is covered by a free meal. I can get you a gift card when I am back in town next Sunday. Um, that's illegal probably. I worked a shift. Uh, you don't just get to pay me by a free meal and a gift card. Although that, that don't sound all that bad. <laughs> what kind of meal? And how much of the gift card? <laughs> Yo, I thought that was a pregnancy test at first. Gave me a little bit of a heart attack. <laughs> yes, I tested positive for COVID-19, baby. Okie dokie. So, oh, that's nice. Someone wrote, good, you work tomorrow. Hold on, where is the good in this? Are you not understanding what I'm sending to you? I tested positive for the virus. It's not good, and no, I don't think I can work tomorrow. Oh, I forgot to ask, how often are we paid Bi-weekly, okay, and when will be my first payday? I changed my mind. I would hire someone whose desire is to work with the company. Please don't worry, come in at three. I'm sorry I don't, un okay, good. I'm glad you don't understand, because I don't either. I am sorry I don't understand. I do want to work with the company, but pay information is important for me to properly budget for bills. No problem, you carry on. I am looking for an individual who is willing to work with the flow with the environment, but your priorities only pay. And I am not looking for any candidates whose priorities only pay. You didn't ask me about any other staff, uniforms, etc. What if they were getting to that question? What if their next question was about employees and uniforms or anything? But either way, sorry, I don't know what world you live in, but the world is very much about money. Quite literally how we all exist in our homes and in our careers and in our lives. That information is at the top of my list. Any job, how much am I being paid? Is it monthly or is it bi-weekly? So I can make sure my bills are paid so I can live my life. Hey, any chance you can work 1.30 to 3.30 today? As in like two hours? Or is that like 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 in the morning? Hey, sorry, I was in the class at that time and forgot to respond. I'm sorry to do this, but I'm trying to find coverage for for my Sunday shift, I have, oh, I have to put my dog down on Saturday night and I will be an absolute mess. She's my best friend. I'm just letting you know ahead of time, I'm going to text some people and see if they can help out. I'm really gonna need you to find coverage. I understand it's a tough situation, but you have plenty of notice, so it's not going to be approved if you don't come in. Is there a way you could do it on a night where you don't work the next day? Oh, well, I don't think that's necessarily how it works. I don't think we, uh get to decide that sometimes. And uh, yeah, imagine uh, explaining that to your family. Hey guys, I gotta work, so uh, we're gonna have to pick a different day. I'm gonna be a mess no matter what day of the week it is, Frank. Oh my God, any entitled boss, I'm just gonna call Frank now. It's like the Karen. <laughs> Hey, blank from Applebee's. Did you get the link to your email for the onboarding? No, I didn't get it. I've been looking. I also checked my spam and important folder. Hmm, I'll try again. Is it the Indeed email? Yes and they forwarded their email. Awesome, also, I didn't get to ask in your interview with Chris, are you married? So I can go ahead and start your tax paperwork. Yes, I am. Okay, awesome. Lucky guy, you're going, this feels like inappropriate. You're going to be a superstar. We normally don't hire on the first interview, but Chris and I were both impressed with your charisma and willingness to work. Before I even go to part two of this, I'm calling sketchy vibes right now. When do you come back? I am supposed to come back Wednesday for orientation, but I am married and I don't text other men. I understand you're my supervisor and I just want 
to know. It's that and that only. Okay. Respect. I am sorry. I can't help when I see a beautiful girl. I knew it. I knew it. I respect your marriage. He's a lucky guy. I applaud him for keeping a beauty like you. No disrespect. Please don't take it wrong. I'm just complimenting your charisma. This job is my life. I'm here 24 seven. Then I go to the gym every night. Ha ha. I didn't ask. I don't care how you spend your life. I don't care what the excuse was to compliment me and be slightly creepy, but uh, leave me alone. I work for USPS. Corporate likes to send out messages almost every day to carriers. This was the message today. From Corporate Communications. When the weather is hot, please try to hold off being sick or dehydrated until after you finish. Oh, no problem. Sure, we'll do that for you because I have full control over how my body reacts to dehydration and heat. Girl, I would be on the ground. I faint for nothing. Couldn't have that job. When are we getting the rest of our paychecks? Moving to Fridays meant this pay period is short. Thereafter, it is normal. Pay period is now Tuesdays to Tuesdays. Tanita processes on Wednesdays and pays out on Friday going forward. This last week, because it was 4th of July, that was not paid either. Call if you got more questions. Red flag. Moving on. Another one, Friday, July 22nd. Friday's when they get paid. The money I was short $700 on my last check because of the pay schedule change didn't show up on this one. Will there be a secondary deposit? No, the pay schedule changed from Tuesdays to... St Wait, what? From Tuesdays to Tuesdays. Effectively, you have three days of pay on the books right now. We can talk through this when you are back. Okay, no. What do you mean no, that there's no second deposit? I don't care if you decided to change our pay schedule. Give me my money, please, and thank you. Do you guys remember Barney's song? Remember, please, and thank you. They're gone, the matching word, please. How do I remember that? I didn't retain any other information in school, but Barney songs. Your girl knows. Boss restricted paid time off hours because the business isn't making enough money. I have 30 plus hours saved. Sounds like that is a you problem, boss. I am going to pay your PTO hours this time, but there will be no more PTO paid until things get better. We are open five days a week and now have to pay 24 extra hours in a two week period. All businesses have days off that you cannot take off. Yesterday alone now cost us well over $450 in payroll. With a PTO day, we made $350. 59. Again, sounds like a you problem. You're the business owner. You no, know, I'm not the business owner for a reason. I am just working here hourly to make my money. Truly, that's not their business. I, like I, it's not my business what is happening financially with this business. You know, someone tell me, is that legal? Can you say like, oh, not doing PTO anymore because we're not making good money. Mama worked 125 hours in 10 days. No day off in 17 days. Asked her manager if she could have the weekend or even a day off because she was so exhausted and tired. Boss said, doubtful. So mom called her PC physician and asked if she could get a day off notice. Note, physician put her out for a week. Guess the story is maybe next time her employer will consider giving her one day off instead of the alternative. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I guess you could go to a doctor and just straight up be honest and be like, listen, I've worked this many days. I feel physically burnt out mentally. Like I hook me up, hook me up. Or just fake being sick like your girl has done so many times in her life. Then, yup, it's a write-up. Your schedule says 10, you have to show up at 10. You specifically said, I didn't have to work. I scheduled for today, so you have to work. You said all Sundays I could take off because of church. I even asked you if I needed to put it in ADP and you said you would remember. I did remember, but I'm already short staffed. I can't give everyone every Sunday off. I've had to schedule people that asked for Sundays off and they still showed up. Well, I'm at church, I can't come in. Thank you for your time, but you no longer have a job at Splash Kingdom. My fault for being religious. <laughs> It was a little funny, sassy response. <laughs> you know what? Only God can judge you, so it don't matter. Splash Kingdom, you can't judge me. God has my back. So my grade school was St. Gabriel, and we did this thing where they picked a new mascot. I forget what the old one was. But they changed it to St. Gabriel Guardians. And then our saying on all our t-shirts, I went to a Catholic high school, or grade school. I'm not Catholic. Anyways, not the point. And the saying on our t-shirts, like the logo was like wings and it said, Jesus has our backs. Listen, 
even if you believe in Jesus God, good for you. But I didn't want to roll up to a basketball game or a track and field meet that I had and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna kick your ass. And I'm like giving off competitive vibes and I'm trying to threaten them with a look like, ooh, we're gonna kick your butt today in this game. And all we have on our back is Jesus has our backs. Like, lame. Even if you believed in God, it was still lame. Random story for you. And just so you know, we're probably not going to be needing lawn mowing services for the next month. Oh, <laughs> and like that they literally just put an O. <laughs> yeah, we'll let you know if we need them again in the future. Okay, do you, do you finish out this month or does it end on the 15th? Ends on the 15th, thanks. No problem. Tried to mow it on my own, but the lawnmower stopped working. If I pay you $60 today, can you get it done ASAP? Sorry for any inconvenience. No, I'm sorry. You have been taken off my cut schedule. If you want to be replaced on my schedule, you will have to pay for this month, next month, and a $25 maintenance fee to redo all the edges and get your yard back in order. So they kind of canceled your work. Like they were like, ooh, slightly fired, we don't need you. And then it turns out they did need you. I was rear-ended at 30 miles per hour whilst stationary and signed off sick from work by the hospital and got this text four days later. Hey, Butte, I know you're off because of your accident at the moment, but is there any chance you could cover a shift tomorrow morning, please, just in case someone goes sick? Yeah, I have a feeling they're gonna say no, but thank you for your concern of my accident. And I like that it's a just in case someone goes sick. And it's like, well, no, I'm out of here. You already know if you have an entitled boss story, I wanna hear it. Put it in the comments. I've debated, like I should react to comments that are in my video section. I feel like that'd be so fun. Anyways, stay classy out there, stay sassy, and I will see you tomorrow.